Hey everybody, it's Mask Fest time. Yeah, it's it's Mask Fest, folks. I okay. Um, it's just a T-shirt. Nice to see you. Did I have it up there where you could see approximately what was? Uh, it doesn't matter, because what really matters is that you're with me here again at the Mask Fan Attic. And you know, even though uh, latex is generally the preferred medium of most of. Uh, uh, the planet's uh, mask collectors. There are a lot of very nice masks out there in existence that are made of other materials like vinyl or plastic or like this week's uh, pick here in the Mask Fan Attic, fiberglass. Case in point, the wonderful Shock Trooper helmet from a company called Master Replicas. Now Master Replicas uh, is no longer in business. They were only around for um, a few years during the OOs. And this particular mask came out in, I think, 2006. And uh, as you can probably guess, it is a Star Wars uh, character from the Clone Trooper saga. The Shock Troopers show up on the Clone Wars uh, animated TV series. And uh, more importantly to me, they were also in uh, the movies. They show up in at least that last movie, the um, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Foregone Conclusions. Do you remember that one? They were in that one, and they may have shown up in the uh, previous one about the clones, too. But in any case, um, I, I'm a big fan of the Star Wars helmets. I like those designs a lot. And I think uh, one, of my, one of my very favorites of, uh, from the three uh, prequel movies uh, of the period was the Shock Trooper, which is kind of like the clone troopers, only with these very cool red uh, accents going on. And then uh, some of the uniform also had red parts. But... Uh, this guy was a limited edition of, I've forgotten how many, I think, I'm going to guess a thousand. I couldn't find the certificate that came with it, and I couldn't find any record of it, and somebody told me that these were a UK exclusive. I'm not absolutely certain if that's true, but there don't seem to be a whole lot of them here in the States. This one was given to me for Christmas one year by Laura, my lovely wife, who sometimes gives me really cool things for Christmas. And here's what I like about this helmet is, uh, besides the fact that it just plain looks cool, the folks at Master Replicas really went all out and made it a nice, heavy thing. It doesn't feel like a little flimsy, cheap uh, Halloween mask for kids to go trick-or-treating in. It feels pretty substantial, and it's made kind of like, uh, you know, something, it looks like something that would be issued to you uh, directly from the government when you're a clone trooper in the world of Star Wars. Um, it's got, as you can see, I think you can see that, it's got very nice uh, soft padding, lining, foam lining all the way around inside so you can actually wear it and you can actually see through the smoked visor and again pretty high quality, pretty high quality thing here. It came with a nice uh, stand, uh, display stand, but I'm not keeping mine on the display stand because uh, frankly I have my Star Wars helmets on kind of a short shelf. Aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? I said to the shelf and the shelf said, yeah, just take the uh, take the stand out and he'll be fine because the stand adds about uh, four inches to the bottom of it. Anyway, I don't have mine in the stand, uh, on the stand as you can see, but it's a great piece. Now as I understand it, they plan to make some of these uh, with the battle damaged look and they were going to have some uh, scratches and dents and paint scraped uh, areas to look like um, you know, it had been worn in battle and seen some uh, damage from laser blasts and so forth. I don't think that version ever came out. Uh, I think they just went with the clean version, which is like this one, which is pretty near to perfect. And again, I like it this way. It's cool. It looks just like it was issued to me by the Empire. Um, okay, not the Empire. I guess technically when they had these guys, I guess in their timeline, it wasn't really the Empire yet. What was it? Was it still the Republic? I don't know. But Whatever form of government it was that would issue these to you, this looks like one. Obviously it doesn't have real working electronics like those in the context of the film that enable you to see at night and breathe better and communicate and all that stuff, but it sure looks like it could, doesn't it? And I have also uh, been told uh, that a number of the early copies had uh, paint defects and problems like uh, certain places here not getting covered like they should have uh, with the paint, so there are some maybe some flawed copies out there. I haven't seen that. The only ones I've seen have looked pretty perfect, pretty beautiful, you know. And one thing I like about uh, the, the Master Replicas helmets is that they didn't go 
with uh, plain white stickers with stripes on them for the stripe parts like a lot of makers of Star Wars helmets in the past have done. I remember my first uh, uh, Star Wars Stormtrooper helmet that I had a million years ago back when the old movies came out and that one had these these rows of stripes. Those were put on with a piece of white sticker paper and people don't use stickers on your masks. Just don't. It's just not a good idea. Uh, for one thing the white uh, paper of the sticker tends to yellow with age at a different rate and in a slightly different way from the white plastic or latex or whatever it is and that uh, stormtrooper that old Don Post stormtrooper those stickers on a warm day you could just take your finger and just move that sticker around anywhere and there was always like sticky grayish yellow glue gunk on the mask where uh, the sticker had had been moved around and uh, you know if you I, I if you wore that uh, one of those masks and Ruby's did the same thing with some of theirs put stickers on if you wore one of those masks with stickers at like the haunted house or a Star Wars convention or something you have no idea by the time you take that mask off after you've worn it a few hours where those stickers are going to be you could end up with one sticker on your kneecap just because they don't stay in place like they should so I prefer the stenciled and painted on uh, technology or at the very least the um, at the very least the clear plastic uh, decal um, rather than having white sticker paper going on there but the shock trooper one of a limited number of uh, maybe a thousand not sure a very very nice helmet and uh, certainly has a place in anybody's Star Wars collection and it was uh, brought to you by the folks at Master Replicas who also made lightsabers and lots of other cool props and toys and the like and join me again next week for another visit to the mask fan attic where I'll be thanking God that I don't have to actually wear these when I do these segments because it's about 112 up here today